guys um welcome back to my channel ikamla Bonako. and if you're new to this channel you're very very much welcome please do not forget to subscribe hit the notification button and be part of this beautiful family and if you're my returning subby you're my day one you already know what time it is so please please say it with me baby welcome and i thank you for tuning in again um i'll just i'll jump straight to it guys in today's video we are reviewing this stunning chocolate brown unit from ali pal hair they were kind enough to send me this stunning unit for uh, me to review for you guys because honey why not okay why not so this is a 24 inches um it's a 13 by 4 frontal it has a transparent lace it comes pre-plugged and um i do believe the the knots are quite bleached i wasn't sure but you know some were bleached some were not so i'm not sure what was going on there but truth be told this you need ladies and gentlemen it's giving please what lace like where where is the lace okay where is the lace i am so in love i am totally in love i wasn't sure what i want to do with it but i think it came out pretty well it looks stunning it matches my skin like i said it's a transparent lace so it will match your skin very easily especially if you just you know change it with a bit of your uh foundation that matches your skin right so without wasting any of your time i'll be showing you guys how i install this unit style this unit and i hope you guys enjoy this video and learn a lot from this video and also see how beautiful this hair is from the video and every information or any information that you guys need to know about this hair direct link it's going to be on the description box and if you may be looking for something else maybe something that is not brown something that is black i am pretty sure they have a whole lot they have a variety they have curls longer curls they have hd laces but everything will be on the description box so you guys can go in and get you this beautiful unit because why would you not get it for yourself i mean look at me okay look at me so yeah without wasting any of your time enjoy the video Bye. hey guys um in today's video we are reviewing ali pell here they were kind enough to send me this stunning stunning unit i'm just taking out taking it out of the bag and i'm pretty much just showing you it's a 180 density it's a 24 inches and it's a medium cap size it comes with a wig cap inside which is very useful especially now that we are doing a bold cap method and i'm just showing you guys how it pretty much looks inside how long it is it's a transparent lace as you can see beautiful one it comes with three combs um inside and i am just testing out um if it sheds and to be honest nothing came out it comes pre-plugged which is a bonus but because i'm an extra person you guys know by now i went back in and yeah i went back in and i tried plucking it or didn't try I actually did pluck it <laughs> i pluck it because i'm an extra person like i said but you really don't have to do this because this wig comes pretty much pre-plugged okay so i'm also just showing you guys how long it is and how shiny flexible wavy it is you know and right now i'm just gonna put some uh, my hair straightener on it so i need to put some heat protector and i'm using the trasmere one so i think that's very important if you're going to put heat on your hair so i'm just pretty much straightening it up because i'm really not sure what i want to do with it like which style do i want to go for but i do love pre-styling my wigs before installing you guys know this by now i i, I do pre-style them like pre-iron them or pre-straighten them before the installation and now i'm just combing it through and i love it i think i pre-plugged it very nicely like i said um i'm doing a bold a cap method because i feel like i haven't done this method in a while and besides i need a bit of a long lasting um, installation 
now i'm going in with my gut to be spray because we need to melt that wig cap with my skin and also protect my hairline i think this method is more about protecting the hairline especially when we are going to use um the type of things we're going to use such as the glue the ghost bond it can be very very harsh on your skin and your hair um now i'm doing my second coat using my dryer on low heat just straying that we cap up so that i can be able to cut it and now i'm cutting it and i am using my razor blade to cut this wig cap and please be careful with the razor blade guys um it really needs you to be very very much careful about it because i'm so used to using it and besides i don't have any other blade with me so i thought this one would work so now i'm going in with my nyx foundation in shade deep sable so that i can blend my wig cap with my skin and that is a super perfect shade for my skin as you can see that foundation matches my skin pretty well now i'm going in with my ghost bond glue like i said and i'm just gonna pretty much work um in section this is the first layer which is very light which is very light and also i'm gonna use my comb to spread it evenly i'm making sure this glue is right on the tip of my wig cap and also right in front of my hairline because i don't want to lose hair when i'm taking my wig wig off okay so you really need to do this bold cap method if you're going to use that type of glue so now while i'm waiting for my glue to dry clear i am just going to blend my lace with my foundation like i said this is this is a transparent lace so it's really going to blend in with my skin so now i'm just going back in with my ghost bond and this is my second coat i feel like this coat is much is too much right but i made it work I made it work and that's what matters so whatever you do make sure you can make it work you can fix it and whatsoever as you can see I think that's too much glue but I made it work so now that my now that my glue is um, clear I'm just gonna try and lay down my lace right on top of that glue and I'm gonna be working in section using my comb to press down my lace on top of my glue and my hair dryer just to melt these two together which is the glue and the lace but guys please look at the hair can you see how stunning this color is can you see like it, it, it's like it was made for me the skin match ma'am i mean look at that <laughs> So yeah i'm pretty much doing that and now i'm just gonna cut off my lace and i also work in sections when i'm doing this because i'll be using the very same razor blade and also i had to pretty much customize the lace front according to uh, my hairline right and also i had to cut off some uh, excessive um lace yes right by my ear so that it can fit me properly as you can see look at that so now i'm cutting the front of my lace and i'm also cutting some hair with it because it really does not fit my hairline the front part of it properly so i needed it to really look like my actual hairline and yes i do have a big forehead as you can see and now i'm going back in with my gut to be just to melt down the lace once again and secure it properly and i'm also working with my hair dryer and those are just scissors and i'm just pressing it down melting it in with my scalp and i'm also working in sections with this which is front side and i am also cleaning this whole glue in between because this whole thing guys to be honest it can be messy i feel like people don't stress that enough it can be really messy now i'm using my rubbing alcohol which is 91 percent and i'm just gonna clean my my skin even more 
because I don't want to be sticky. I don't want to have glue all over my face. Like I said, that this process can be messy. I feel like laying down a wig is actually messy, but it's important to clean after yourself. So now I am sectioning my mm, my edges. I'm really not good with this edges thing. I think I always say this on my videos. I'm really not good with it, but I try, okay? And I always do my edges exactly there because I have I actually have hair there. So I feel like it kind of frames my you know my face properly in a way and now i'm going in with my auntie jackie mousse which is my fave 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 and i am just laying down those edges trying to make them look as realistic as possible but i don't think that's 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 the issue like no now i'm taking my elastic band and i am laying everything down that includes my edges and now i'm just preparing my hair for styling like i said i'm still not sure what i'm doing so i did create a middle part because i thought i was going to have a middle part and now i'm using my wax stick from alice and yeah i'm just going to apply that wax stick in there and see where my hands take me because like i said i'm really not sure what i'm doing at this at this point and i'm also using my hot comb which is so hot and i don't know if you can see i was really careful with this i was really careful because i really don't want to bend myself with this i usually bend myself with the hot comb and i was not having it today so now we're on my middle part i also worked in section guys because i really want the front part of my wig to be flat as much as it can because who wants a bumpy wig in in 2020 definitely not me so now i have decided on a side part because i feel like i've been doing so much of a middle part i feel like i really need to do the side part and i think it really looks good on me so now i just finished doing my makeup and i took my foundation and i'm just going back in on my lace pretty much trying to match it with my skin especially now that i have makeup on i want everything to look perfect look blended together and i think it's going very well for me as you can see i'm looking stunning already i don't know what you think but hey ma'am i really think i look stunning look at me look at me so like i said i do pre-style my wigs before i do my makeup and other things so that when i am done with my makeup i can just you know do some touch-ups like now and be done with this whole thing so i'm just using my hot comb just to press down my front again laid flat and straighten some of the hair make sure there are no flyaways the work stick does that for you the work stick will make sure you do not have any visible flyaways if you do not have a work stick please use a mousse but pretty much this is how i am looking i am feeling beautiful i think i look stunning look at how flawless wavy you know flowing that hair is and that is a close up because i really wanted you guys to see the lace front look at it it has blended on my skin what lace ma'am what lace it really worked out i love the color i love the length i love how it looks on me i love how it makes me feel and now i'm just trying to show you guys how long the hair is and this hair is pretty long for a 24 inches because it really it's close to my what waist not even my boobs is close to my waist and yeah that's me showing you and showing off because i'm a pang thing and i look stunning thank you thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy this video bye